dogs are playing at my feet here. Need to come say hi? Here we go. See? Come say hi. Come say hi. Pancake and Nelson. This is a shout out to Lars Anderson, of course. Um, Armin Himmer. And my new sensei, whose first name I don't know, Mr. Nyung. If I'm butchering your name, I apologize, new sensei. Just because I apologize. I'm making this because I was reading your comments. Uh, in particular to Lars's video that he posted two weeks ago, the behind the scenes video about his participation in the upcoming Robin Hood movie. And I was reading the comments, and a week ago, Armin, actually reading lots of the comments, and yeah, Armin posted, took my time and read some comments of people who seem to be pros as they have zero subs. What Lars shows is historically correct. You might simply, you might simply have to research better sources and not only copy paste some troll's opinion. OFC, that is the easiest way. You can find a ton of information about all that, about all the shown shooting styles, and then you have the one telling you that all this needs to be performed with only war bows. Well, mostly that comes from people who draw a 50 pounder. Do you guys really think that bow and arrow, the major weapon for thousands of years in all cultures, is only the little you know? Why not simply sit back and enjoy some insane and good archery in the movie? So, I don't have zero subs. Not much more than zero subs. I think it's 36 at this point, so not a lot. Um, I do own multiple styles of bows. 30... No. If I include the student bows, of which this is one of them. This is the YT, the Nika YT4. Uh, I've been experimenting it for the past month. I've literally left it strung for that entire well, a little over a month now. There go the monsters. Um, so I got a wide variety of experience with bows. The highest draw weight I have is 63 at 28. Um, the highest. Asian style bow I have is 60 at 31. Uh, that's a Kaya Firefox. Very much happy with it. I use it for shooting pole archery. Anyways, news answer to it, to Armin, which Armin actually answered as well. This is a strange perspective. As far as I know, someone's expertise, whether as an archer or historian, is not measured by the number of YouTube subscribers. There are absolutely people who have zero experience in either field, but everyone is entitled to opinion. I kind of disagree with that, but a little bit later. Regardless of how inaccurate or misguided it may be, isn't that we're here to? Isn't that what we're here to facilitate? You can't have the double standard where haters get called out while sycophants get a pass. Instead of engaging with the opportunity to open archery and explore its history with more clarity, labeling critics as trolls making ad hominem attacks on their 50 pound draw and insinuating a lack of knowledge simply fuels the tribalism. I'm surprised that Armin is implying that one's authority to speak on subject on the subject is based on their sub count. In my opinion, as someone who has more than zero subs, oh yeah, you got a lot more than that. Um, I think you have more subs than Armin does. Um, this is the wrong way to go about it. Okay. New Sensei, as usual, is looking at the nuance of a subject. And definitely well written. I envy you, your education some days. I also envy Armin's education some days because, yeah, it's very well written too. Um, Armin's response, if I can find it quickly here, simply my point of view and YouTube experience. If one of these zero subs would have at least a, a far shimmer of proof of what he's telling me, I would really listen. Well, I hope you're listening, Armin. Because I don't disagree with you. And I don't disagree with New Sensei. I don't disagree with Martin Spori. 
I don't actually disagree that much with Bo Kraus, even though Bo Kraus really doesn't like Yarman. Oh well. But, archery is something that we do to love. This is sporting goods. This is a sport. This is entertainment. This is something that makes us smile and feel good. And it's something that you teach about mental wellness, about concentration. I look at all the, I listen to all these people bitching and groaning about bars. And his shooting. No, this is rated at 30. It's actually because it's been strung for, for it's not a very high quality bow. Um, it's actually lost a few pounds in its draw weight from when I have packed it. If you go to my channel, you'll see that I've reviewed it. There's three videos on it. I even chronoed it. Um, and I'm actually pretty impressed with this piece of molded fiberglass takedown. Now I added the duct tape just because I'm Canadian. Um, and the whole concept of light bows, heavy bows, 50 pounders, 100 pounders, 80 pounders. Um, Lars point that he makes repeatedly and new sensei makes repeatedly and you make repeatedly. We are Mongols where this is our daily bread. And you're right. The people out there who are bitching and groaning that we're not pulling 100 pound bows. No, we're not pulling 100 pound bows. There are a few people on this planet who are capable of pulling 100 pound bows and do so. Um, if you look up Dr. Ma and his, his education and thing, I'll put all the links of all these, and, and I know you guys have watched these videos, because I've seen your comments on these videos as well. I see these links. Look at Alexander from Red Dragon, who's a friend of Dr. Ma and this, the, the, way of, the way of archery and, and, and Ming archery. This is a Ming style, right? And the whole inchworm technique, right? That wasn't a very good inchworm technique, but it, it's kind of that way. I've seen Dr. Ma pulling 80 pound bows. I can't pull an 80 pound bow. The 60 pound bow I can pull. 80? No. But Armin has repeatedly said, if you can pull a 60 pound bow, the bow you should be practicing with, the one to get muscle memory is 30. Guess what that is? Guess what the bows, the type of bows that um, Lars trains people on? 30s. Or lighter. Why? Well, you can't do something if you don't have the muscle memory. Right? You build the strength. And realistically, as Nuker repeatedly says, it's not about how heavy it is, it's the ability to control it. So, I don't know why you're sniping each other when you actually are on the same team. All of you are. You know? And, to be honest, your comments actually reflect that. So, you're not sniping sniping, but you're sniping at each other. You know? Speed shooting is not my personal cup of tea. I do do a little bit of teaching and some... And people ask me all the time. And I expect to get a lot more questions because I'm one of the few people in, in the city that I live in uh, that shoots thumb draw publicly and openly. And when people go to the two archery ranges that we actually have here in this city, um, it's my name that comes up when people ask about thumb draw. And you know so quickly, I just emptied my quiver. That's 14 arrows. Now it's only 3 meters. Gone. And it's, look at the timer blow. See how long it took me to do that. And I'm just doing it casually. If I really put my effort to it, those would be all down. All 13 of those things, or probably 14 of those, would be down range in well less than a minute. Armin can do that in... 30 seconds. Um, Bo Kraus can do that in less than 30 seconds. Martin Spory can do that in less than 30 seconds. Lars, 
I'm pretty sure he can do that faster than all of us. And uh, new, I know you can do that in less than, well, I don't know if you can do it in 30 seconds, but I know you can do it faster than I can. Um, and I could do, if I wanted to go faster, I could go faster, but I don't, yeah, it's, it's not my cup of tea. It's not something that I, that I pursue. Watching you guys who are people that I follow and I listen to and enjoy listening to and have learned many techniques from and borrowed from and adapted my own. You guys are on the same team. And I know you guys know that. Maybe you guys should post videos saying that you're on the same team. All of you. Cheers to Lars. I'm so looking forward to seeing your your credit on the video, on the movie, pardon me. Um, I highly suspect that when I do watch it, because I ain't going to the theater to do it, I'll be watching it and fast forward just to go see the stunts, uh, the archery stunts. I, mean, I don't expect it to be a very complex storyline. Um, as for the other guys, Armin, <laughs> thanks. I love watching your videos. Um, most of the stuff I've, I've dealt with already. Um, I enjoy your reviews. I have reviewed many of the bows that you have reviewed, or I've owned most some of the bows. I have a few that you probably don't have yet. Maybe. One, maybe. Um, I'm slowly going through my collection of bows, and I'm doing chronograph of them all. Uh, the results, of course, vary because they're based on me. Um, New Sensei is a target archer. I'm also do target archery. I describe myself. I'm a self-described schizophrenic archer. I have no specialty, and I am not perfect at any one of those things. I enjoy I enjoy pulling a bow, and I enjoy letting the stick fly down the down the alley. Down it goes, and I enjoy just the pure joy of it. And. That's what we should be telling everyone. Enjoy the beauty of a technology that is, with the exception of the Aborigine people of Australia, universal to our planet. All the different variations. This technology unites us all. Because with, once again, the exception of the Aborigines of, of Australia, Every last culture came up with their own version of this or adapted it from someone else. And when they met other cultures with archery, they blended them together to get what we do. Today is a modern Olympic sport. What Lars does is an incredible sport. What Armin can do is an incredible sport and he teaches that to people in Malta. Right? What Bo Krauss can do and what Bo Krauss teaches down in Kansas is important. What Martin Spori is doing in Switzerland is important. And New passing on the knowledge that he has gained over the past few years as he has become passionate about archery. Because he hasn't been doing it his entire life. He's only been doing it for about 10 years. I'm a late in life archer as well. Uh, I've eight years maybe. I kind of lost track. Roughly about the same time as new started. Um, it's the love of our sport. And the joy of us being united by a simple technology that is freaking way more complex than the simplicity of what it really is. It's just so damn cool. Cheers to you all. We're all archers. We all belong to the Brotherhood of the Bow, whatever shape it takes.